spies. Look what came in the post. An invitation to the boating carnival. Ooh, I love the boating carnival. All the boats sailing on the river with music and dancing. But King and Queen Marigold always make fun of my boat. Oh. King and Queen Marigold are so snooty. Oh. Well, maybe the marigolds won't be coming this year. Hello? Oh, hello, King Marigold. Thistle, old boy. Are you coming to the boating carnival? We've got an amazing boat this year. Oh, well, I've got an amazing boat too. Really? I can't wait to see it. Cheerio. Those marigolds are such show-offs. This time, our boat will be better than theirs. What boat is that, Your Majesty? Ah, uh, the boat you're going to build me. Me? Allow me, Your Majesty. Elves are good at building boats, and I'm an... I can build a better boat than you. Nonsense. Can too. Stop! Stop! I don't care how you do it. Just build me a boat. So... How are we going to work together on this? I know. We'll build a boat each. And King Thistle can choose the best one. And he'll choose mine. He'll choose mine. I have a fantastic idea for a boat. Oh, what is it? It's a secret. Come on, Ben. Fine. I've got a better idea anyway. What sort of boat are we going to build? We're going to build a Viking boat. Cool. Nanny, what sort of boat are we going to build? No idea. The wise old elf said he had a good idea, but it was a secret. All right, let's find out what it is. Isn't that cheating? Yes, well done, Fleur. That's called cheating. Our Viking boat will have shields on the sides and a dragon head at the front. Ooh! How big will it be? Not too big. Just large enough for the king to sit in. Come on, fairies. Back to the castle. So, they're making a Viking boat. We can make one too. Isn't that copying? Yes, Fleur, well done. That's called copying. Abracadabra, Viking boat. And to make it better than theirs, we'll make it bigger. Hello? Hello, Nanny Plum. How's your boat coming along? We finished. I magicked up a Viking boat. What? But we're building a Viking boat? Fancy that. We're both building Viking boats. Nanny Plum is building a Viking boat. Oh! She must have spied on us. Hmm. Two can play at that game. Who wants to be a spy? Me! 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 Barnaby Elf. You will be our spy, but first, you must look like a fairy. Two fairy wings held on with elastic, a toy wand, and a hat to cover your elf ears. But won't the fairies know it's Barnaby? No, they won't. I've got a disguise. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I've just moved into the neighbourhood. I'm a fairy. What's your name? It's Barnaby. Oh, no. It's a uh, bamboo. I'm a fairy. <coughs> Oops. Um, I mean, uh, I'm a fairy. Well, come in. Say hello to bamboo, everyone. Hello, bamboo. Look, we're building a Viking boat. The elves are building one too, but ours is bigger. Ooh. You don't say much, do you, Bamboo? No. Um, I'm a fairy. <coughs> Oops, I mean... Bamboo, do I know you from somewhere? No. Well, I'd better be going. It was nice to meet you. Bye! <laughs> Mission accomplished. I found out all about the fairy's Viking boat. What's it like? It's big. Bigger than ours. Then we'll start again. We'll make the biggest Viking boat ever. Yes, wise old elf. You weren't discovered, were you, Barnaby? No, they never suspected.
I know where I've seen Bamboo before. He was Barnaby in disguise. <gasps> the elves are spying on us. That's outrageous. But didn't we spy on them? That was different. We thought of spying first. So now the elves know all about our boat. Fine. We'll just find out more about theirs. Strawberry, you can be our spy. All right. You need to look like an elf. Bye-bye, wings. Hello, ears. She still looks a lot like Strawberry, though. Hmm, yes. Let's add a disguise. Perfect. Vikings, 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 brave and strong and true. Sailing in our Viking boats across the seas of blue. Hello? Hello. I'm an elf who has just moved to the neighbourhood. Oh, really? What's your name, little elf? Strawberry. That's a nice name. I mean Alice. Even nicer. Come in. This elf is a fairy spy. Let's tell her silly made-up things about our boat. Wow! You've got a big boat. Yes, and it isn't finished yet. We've got to put the legs on. Legs? All Viking boats had legs. Duck legs. Duck legs? And we're going to change the dragon's head for, um... A hippopotamus head that breathes fire! <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. Well, it's been nice meeting you. I'd better be going. Are we really going to put those things on our boat? No, that was just so the spy will tell Nanny Plum. And she'll build a very silly boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back! Ha! Ah, an elf! No, it's me! The elf's boat is really, really big! No problem! We can do big! And we need duck legs! Oh, really? Then duck legs it is! Ah. And a hippopotamus head at the front <laughs> that breathes fire! Are you sure it looks right? Hmm, maybe we should add chicken wings. <laughs> That's better. Come on, let's take it for a walk. Walkies! <laughs> what an awful noise. Morning, wise old elf. How do you like our boat? <laughs> it looks a bit funny, if you ask me. It is a traditional Viking boat. Oh, no, it isn't. I'll show you a traditional Viking boat. Mr Elf, please bring out our boat. right -o. Oh! What's wrong? We can't get the boat through the door. It's too big. Oh, that's a bit embarrassing. I suppose you want some fairy help getting it out. Yes, please. Here, boy. <whistles> Fetch! <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, I suppose we might be able to fix it in time. Oh. Hello, everyone. Have you finished my boat? Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> Uh, what's that? Your boat. So, I told you to make me a boat that wouldn't be laughed at, and this is what you made? Yes, Your Majesty. Whose idea was the hippo head? That was my idea. I thought of the flames. And the legs? Uh, my idea, Your Majesty. I thought of the chicken wings. <laughs> I am going to be a complete laughing stock. I can't wait to see what King Thistle's boat looks like. <laughs> oh, what's that noise? <laughs> Hello. Is that your boat, King Thistle? Uh, yes. Why? It's... I know, I know. It's the most amazing boat we've ever seen. It's fantastic. Well... Thank you. It is the finest boat in the whole carnival. Hooray! Superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, Ben. I'm not Ben. Yes, you are. Ben is my usual name. But when I put on my superhero costume, I become Elf Man. What does Elf Boy do? Elf Man. He can run and jump and fly. That's not flying. This is flying. Uh, but I can fly in the Elfmobile. <coughs> but that's just Gaston. No, it's the Elfmobile. <coughs> the Elfmobile can go on land, sea or air. Ooh. We can be superheroes too. Yes. yes. I'll be Fairy Girl. I'll be Captain Crazy. I'll be the strongest boy in the world. And we can all do nice things and help people. Hang on, we can't all be goodies. Someone has to be the baddie. The what? You know, a supervillain. Can I be the supervillain? OK, Strawberry. Do I help people too? No, you have to try and take over the world. The whole world? Well, maybe we should just start with the little kingdom and I'll try and stop you. OK, I will be the Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry Ice Cream? Ice Queen, not cream. Oh. Super villains always have a gang. We'll be the gang. So, it will be Elf Man and Fairy Girl against Strawberry Ice Queen and her gang. <laughs> the goodies will win. The baddies will win. No, the goodies will win. To the Elfmobile. Come on, Fairy Girl. Do your worst, Ice Queen. OK, Fairy Girl. Bye. I'm the Ice Queen, so maybe I should make it a bit cold. It's chilly! Yes, that's because I'm the Ice Queen. Sorry. My goodness, it's cold! Yes, and in the middle of summer. Very odd. Very odd indeed. Brrr, it's gone all cold! I bet the Ice Queen has something to do with that. Yes, let's go to the Elf Cave. This is just Gaston's house. Well, today it's the Elf Cave. Here's the Elf Computer. I invented it myself. But it's a cardboard box. Ah, as I thought, Strawberry Ice Queen has made it cold on purpose. But how do you know that? There's nothing on the screen. <sighs> it's pretend, remember, Holly? Oh, yes. The computer doesn't really work. That would be crazy. Whoa! <laughs> it's me, the Ice Queen. How are you, Elf Boy? Elf Man! And how did you do that? This computer's just a cardboard box. I can do anything. I'm the one who made it cold. Ha! I wouldn't say it's that cold. No, we're not even wearing gloves. Ha! Oh, yes? I can make it colder, if you like. Do your worst. You'll never stop Elf Man and Fairy Girl. We'll see about that. Mwahahaha. <laughs> ben! Lunch time! Oh, I've got to go. I'm having pizza for lunch. Pizza? Can we all come too? Can we? Please! OK, you can all come for pizza. There you are. I was getting worried what with this mad weather. Mum, my friends have come for lunch too. Is that OK? Yes, of course. We're superheroes. And super villains. <laughs> That's nice. Who wants pizza? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> we can't stop long. I've got to take over the world. And Ben and I have to save the world. Oh, good. So you'll need to keep your strength up then. Hmm. What's the best way of taking over the world? You are the Ice Queen. You could make it snow. Yes, maybe I will. Thanks, Fairy Girl. Come on, let's get on with the game. We're off to our secret hideout. Us too. Bye. 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 OK, I'm going to make it snow. Snow, 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 snow. <laughs> snow now as well. In July. 
Why? Oh, this is ridiculous. Wise old elf! Wise old elf! There's something you have to see. Eh? What's that? Come with me. I'll show you. Is it much further? I'm freezing. We're here. Look. What on earth? Where are we? The very edge of the little kingdom. And the snow stops here. Snow, no snow. Snow, no snow. Snow... Yes, thank you, Mrs Elf. We get the idea. No snow. But what is causing this strange snow? It's magic. Magic. And I'll bet my beard that Nanny Palum has done it. Dee dee da dum dee dum dee do dee dee da dum. Nanny Palum, whatever you're doing, stop it. What? The washing? No, the snow. It's not my fault. Oh come on, Nanny, it's always your fault. No, it's normally my fault, but not today. Then who on earth is doing it? Maybe it's a supervillain. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Nanny Plum. Why is that ridiculous? Because supervillains don't exist. What about superheroes? They don't exist either. It's a lot of nonsense. Then what's that? It's a superhero symbol in the sky. Oh, let's find out where it's coming from. Now when the people of the world need help, they'll know where to find the elf cave. Really? Will people really ask us for help? Well, no. It's just a game. No one is actually going to knock on the door. Huh? Hello? Is anyone there? That's my dad. Anyone home? Isn't this where Gaston lives? Maybe a superhero lives here too. That's the silliest thing I've heard in all my life. Hello, this is Elfman and Fairy Girl. We are superheroes. See? Told you. Elfman? Who's Elfman? Can we come in? No! Our secret identities have to remain... a... Uh, a secret. Can you help us? The whole of the little kingdom is covered in snow. Yes, that's the work of the Ice Queen. She is a supervillain. You see? A supervillain. All right, all right. Leave your problem with Elf Man and Fairy Girl. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Elf Boy. Ah, Elf Man! We have to find Strawberry's secret hideout and tell her to stop the snow. <laughs> The whole of the little kingdom is freezing cold. Even in here? Yes. My bottom is getting cold sitting on the ice throne. Couldn't you be the Sunshine Queen instead? It's too late now. I'm Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry's hideout must be around here somewhere. We need to look out for a sort of place that a supervillain Ice Queen might live in. Uh, like that? Palace of Ice. This is better than the Elf Cave any day. No, it's not. It's just showing off. <laughs> not so fast, Strawberry Ice Queen. What brings you here, Elf Boy? Elf Man! I've come to stop you. But you can't stop me. I'm the Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry, the grown-ups are a bit cross about all the freezing snow. Oops, are they? Yes. yes. Are we in trouble? I don't think we're in trouble, as long as the game is over. OK. Do I win? No, the goodies win. That's not fair. You're stuck in the ice. Oh, OK, you win. Hooray! Finally, I can get rid of the ice throne. My bottom is freezing. Oh, good! The sun is out! The little kingdom is saved. All thanks to Elfman and Fairy Girl. If only we knew their secret identities. But we never will. <laughs> The new wand. 
<laughs> Gaston wants to play fetch the stick. OK, I'll magic up a stick. Ready, Wandy? Abracadabra! Here you go, Gaston. Fetch the stick. <laughs> Again? <laughs> oh, it's raining. We're getting wet. No problem. Wand to umbrella. Wow, that's great. Let's go. <laughs> Home and dry. Umbrella to wand. Whoops, it sounds like your wand's got a cold. Oh, no! Poor Wandy! It's because she got all wet. I'd better call the wand doctor. Hello, is that the wand doctor? Yes, this is the wand doctor. Yes, we've got a sick wand. Put your wand to bed with a hot water bottle and I'll be right over. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. The doctor says you have to put Wandy to bed and he'll be right over. Oh, Wandy! The wand doctor is here. Hello. But that's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a fully qualified wand doctor. Oh, I see. We elves make the wands, remember? Yes, why is that? You hate magic. We make wands, but we don't use them. Magic always leads to trouble. Now, where is my patient? Here. Achoo! Ah, that's loud. <laughs> Tongue out, please. As I thought, a cold. I suggest plenty of rest. The wand needs to stay in bed and keep nice and warm. Will Wandy be able to do magic? Oh, no, no, no. There'll be no waving Wandy around for a while. Oh, what'll I do without a wand? Funny you should ask. I've been working on a brand new wand. Maybe you'd like to try it out. Wow! It's been top secret until now. I call it the Wise Wand 3000. Even I didn't know about it. Gosh, thanks, Wise Old Elf. It's so pretty. You're my best friend. Ooh! Ooh. And it talks. I love you. Incredible. Amazing. That's not all. This wand has a very special feature no other wand has. What special feature? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. I have to say, wands don't get any better than this. What did he mean by that? What does he ever mean? I always lose interest halfway through. I can't wait to do some magic with my Wise Wand 3000. Well, you will have to wait till tomorrow because it's nearly bedtime. Oh, Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. Bye, Gaston. See you tomorrow. <coughs> Morning, Daddy. Morning, Holly. Ah, the new wand. How is it? It's amazing. I love you. <laughs> Good news, Princess Holly. Wandy is better. The wand doctor was right. She just needed a bit of rest. Oh, that's nice. So you can take that new wand back to the wise old elf if you like. Uh, I think I might like to keep it for a bit. I haven't even tried doing magic with it yet. Oh. Well, what should we do with this? Um, I don't really need it anymore. Can you put it with my baby toys? OK. Oh, well, there you go. Holly's got a new wand now. You're my best friend. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Hello, Ben. Hello, Fleur. Is that a new wand? Yes. It's called the Wise Wand 3000. I love you. Wow, it talks. Yes, it's very, very new and top secret. You're my best friend. Oh, 
Let's play a game. Yes. What shall we play? Let's play princesses, knights and naughty witches. Yes. I'll be the princess because I am a princess. And I'll be the brave knight. OK. Wow, real armour. And I'll be the naughty witch. <laughs> What do we do now? The brave knight has to rescue the princess from a tower. What tower? Ha-ha! <laughs> this tower! Whoa! <laughs> wow! How am I going to rescue you from that? In the stories, the princess grows her hair really long and the knight climbs up it. Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Elves are good at climbing up hair, and I'm an elf. <laughs> Here I am. I've come to rescue you. Thank you, Brave Knight. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're both trapped. <laughs> oh. We can easily get down. Not if I put bars on the window. going to get down. Don't worry, I've got my wise one 3000. You're my best friend. OK, let's get out of here. I love you. Oh, it didn't work. I love you. It's not doing anything. What happened the last time you used it? Nothing. I haven't done any magic with it yet. I love you. It's useless. I wish I had my old wand. Oh, it's Gaston. Gaston could fetch help. Yes, Gaston, go and get Wandy. Fetch, Gaston, fetch. <laughs> Gaston, you're in a hurry today. <laughs> hey, where are you going with one day? The wise wand 3000 is meant to be a very special wand, but it doesn't do anything. Maybe it's broken. It doesn't look broken. I love you. Does it ever say anything else? No, apart from... You're my best friend. That. It's actually a bit annoying. Yes, my old ones never talked. It just... Oh, Wandy! My old wand! Here, Gaston. Wandy! Hooray! Oh, Wandy, I'm so glad to see you. Now, let's get down from this tower. Yes, indeed. Phew! I think I'll use my old wand from now on. Ah, Princess Holly, how are you getting on with a wise wand 3000? It's broken. Is it? I love you. It looks perfectly fine to me. But it doesn't do magic. Yes, that's the special feature I was talking about. No magic. What? A wand that doesn't do magic? Correct. You see, magic always leads to trouble and also... But a wand that doesn't do magic is not a wand. It's just a stick. So, you're saying that the Wise Wand 3000 is good for absolutely nothing? Yes. yes. <laughs> I know one thing it's good for. Yes? Here, Gaston. Fetch the stick. You're my best friend. I love you. Gaston loves fetching sticks. <laughs> I love you. You're my best friend. And I love you, Wandy. You're my best friend. 
magic test. Keep up, children. We don't want to be late for your magic test. Nanny Plum, why do we have to take a magic test? All fairies take a magic test. It's how you get your magic licence. This is mine. Ooh, will ours look like that? No, this is a grown-up licence. You'll be getting a children's licence. Who gives us the magic test? The elves do. But elves don't like magic. No, but we do make the wands. <laughs> <laughs> and elves do like tests. Good morning, everyone. Have you come for your magic test? Yes, yes Mrs Elf. Until the test is finished, I am not Mrs Elf. I am Mrs Examiner. Yes, Mrs Examiner. Lift up these pebbles, please. Move them forwards. This is hard. Yes. Now backwards. When I clap my hands, stop. Excellent. And finally, one simple question. Magic must only be used for serious things or just for fun? Um, uh, is the answer. Magic must only be used for serious things. Correct. You've all passed the magic test. Hooray! And I'm Mrs Elf again. You may now hug me. <laughs> <laughs> well done, everyone. Here are your licences, signed by me, the Chief Examiner. I knew they'd pass because I taught them. That makes their success even more amazing. Thank you, wise old elf. Perhaps we should have a little celebration. Oh, yes. Can we have a party? And what every party needs is magic jelly. Uh, Nanny, I don't think that's such magic a... Magic jelly. Lots and lots. Mr Daisy, used a bit too much magic there. Nanny Palum, do you even have a magic licence? Of course I do. Oh dear, it's expired. What does that mean? It means it's worthless. Can't I do magic then? No, it's against the law. No grown-up fairy can do magic without a licence. What? I'm taking away your wand. You can't do that. I just did. It's an outrage. The king will be very angry. <laughs> it's not funny. You're right. It's not funny. <laughs> Nanny does not have a licence. She must not do magic. Yes, yes, wise old elf. But maybe we could overlook it just this once, as it's Nanny? It's because it is Nanny we shouldn't overlook it. She's dangerous. Wise old elf, I am your king and I must... Yes? Is your licence up to date, Your Majesty? My licence? Well, I'm sure. I mean, I... I, I Maybe I should take a look. Uh, no need for that. The wise old elf is right, Nanny Plum. Rules are rules. What? So I can never do magic again? Of course you can. Uh, can she? She will have to go back to magic school first. Magic school? Yes, Mrs Fig's magic school. Oh. Hello, Figgy. My name is Mrs Fig. You remember me, don't you? How could I forget? In all my years of teaching, I never had another pupil like you. Thank you. I was her best pupil. The wise old elf has taken away Nanny Plum's wand. Very sensible. And he has sent her back to your magic school. What? Yes, I'm back, you lucky old thing. Good luck, Nanny. Oh, I'm the one that'll need the luck. The first thing to know about magic is magic always leads to trouble. So, for our first lesson, you will not have a real wand. You will have this stick. What does it do? Nothing. Oh, why can't I have a real wand? You need to learn how to use magic sensibly. But I use magic for lots of sensible things. Like ironing the king's underpants or dusting the fridge or polishing the carpets or... Miss Plum, 
I am the teacher. If you want to pass your magic test, I suggest you start listening to me. Let's see how you hold your wand. No, 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 all wrong. You're making magic, not stirring soup. Is that better? It'll do for the moment. Now, a few questions. Can't we do a spell instead? How do you stop a squirrel nesting on your roof? Uh, turn them into a frog. How do you get a mouse out of your kitchen? Uh, turn them into a frog. How do you rescue an elf who is stuck up a tree? Oh, I know this one. Turn them into a frog. Is that your answer to everything, Nanny Plum? Turn them into a frog? Yes. Oh, dearie me. This is going to be a long day. How was your lesson today, Nanny? Really good. I got a couple of things wrong at the start, but I got better and better all day. That's great. I'm all ready for my test tomorrow. Ask me any question you like. OK. How do you stop a mole from digging up your lawn? Turn them into a frog. Uh, no. That's not the answer in the book. Are you sure? Maybe you're reading it wrong. I don't think so. Oh, I find the answer to most things is turn them into a frog. Nanny, don't keep saying turn them into a frog. That will never be the answer. Oh, all right. I'll try and remember that. Morning, Nanny Plum. Have you come to take your magic test? Yes, Mrs Elf. Until the test is finished, I am not Mrs Elf. I am Mrs Examiner. Right you are, Mrs Elf. I'll take this one. Yes, Mr Chief Examiner. But that's not fair. I thought I was going to have Mrs Elf. Quiet, please. The test has begun. Here is your wand back. Oh, nice to see you again. Please lift this rock up in the air. But it's really big. I know. Can't I use a pebble? The pebbles are for the children's test. Why can't I take the children's test? Because you're a grown-up, or you're supposed to be. Ugh, all right. There. Mm-hmm. Now, forwards, please. Ah! <gasps> Whose rock is that? It belongs to the wise old elf. Just be careful. OK. Reverse, please. Slowly. Ah! What's happened to my castle? The wise old elf told me to do it. Sorry, Your Majesty. Now forwards again. And when I clap my hands, you must stop. No problemo. Stop. Stop! 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 <gasps> Whew. Oh, bring the rock back here. <laughs> now, I want you to magic this rock into something else. A frog? No. I can do frogs. An egg. What do you want an egg for? Oh, just do it, please. All right. Keep your hair on. <laughs> I said an egg, not a chicken. There, one egg. Did I pass? The practical test is over, but you still have to answer one question. How would you help a tadpole become a grown-up? Uh, to help a tadpole become a grown-up? Um, uh... Danny, what's your favourite spell? Turn them into a frog? Correct. I knew it! The test is over and it's bad news. Did I fail? It's worse than that. You passed. Hooray! You may now do magic again. Did you hear that wand? We're back in business. Oh, dear. Magic always leads to trouble. No, it doesn't. Show me one piece of sensible magic. OK. There's one piece of magic I've been wanting to do all day. What's that? Turn you into a frog. You can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. Here's my licence. Oh, dear. Frog time! <laughs> like I said... Magic always leads to trouble. <laughs> the Lost City 
today, I, Redbeard the Elf Pirate, set sail in my pirate airship. Where are you going? To the Lost City. What's that? An ancient place of great beauty. Pyramids, waterfalls, fountains, great statues of ancient gods, and treasure. Ooh! Where is it? In the jungle. Far, far from here. A long and dangerous journey. All right, off you go then. Try and be strong, my sweetheart. I will return. Ugh. Take your time. You don't want to rush the lost city. Anchors away! Good luck, Redbeard! Thank you! But a pirate doesn't need luck. I laugh in the face of danger. Farewell! Bye! Oh! Poor Gaston. He's missing Redbeard already. <coughs> this is the life. I love adventures. Aha! I think I see the jungle. Lost City, here I come! Oh. What is it, Gaston? He's worried about Redbeard. Oh. Don't worry, Gaston. Redbeard would call us if he got into trouble. <coughs> Hello? I found it, Nanny Plum. The Lost City. Oh, jolly good. Only thing is, I've had a bit of bad luck and I'm in terrible danger. I thought you laughed in the face of danger. I do, normally, but I'm trapped. The ropes from my airship are tangled up in the jungle. We'll come to your rescue, Redbeard. Yes. Don't feel you must. I can survive here. I'll eat the odd leaf and drink dewdrops to survive. Oh. I could probably last a couple of weeks that way. Unless a snake gets me first, of course. We won't let that happen. The elves are coming. <coughs> and the fairies. OK, we'll do a rescue mission. Emergency! Emergency! Let's get this plane loaded for a jungle rescue. Right, ho! Jungle tent! Jungle, jungle tent! tent. Jungle first aid kit. Jungle, Jungle first, first aid, aid kit. kit. Jungle clothes. Jungle clothes. And I've brought the jungle picnic. Cheese sandwiches and lemonade for everyone. Nanny Plum, this is a rescue mission, not a picnic. So, you still need sandwiches. You'll need these. What are they? Parachutes. Parachutes? Cool. Yes. I can't land the elf plane in the jungle, so you'll be parachuting in. How will we find Redbeard in the jungle? Gaston will sniff him out. <laughs> Gaston can smell anyone from miles away. Redbeard does have a strong smell. Yes, a bit like cheesy socks. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. Time to go. Wind the engine. Righty ho Elf plane, ready for takeoff. Oh, we've only just got going. The jungle is on the other side of the world. <laughs> oh. Gaston can smell Redbeard. Already? <laughs> we can't be at the jungle yet. Gaston's nose is never wrong. <laughs> then it is time to jump. Everybody ready? was right. This is the jungle. Good. Now to find Redbeard. Gaston, find Redbeard. Remember, he smells like old socks. <laughs> Good boy. This way. Ooh, look at that statue. 
Hmm, some kind of ancient god, I suppose. We must be getting close to the lost city. Look at this crazy orange plant. Ah, yes. The proper name is Heliconia jacquinii. And this one's called Chrysanthemum locanthemum. How did you know that? It's on the label. Oh, how odd. This statue's labelled too. And this one. This plant's got a price on it. $4.99. That's good. Something very strange is going on here. Yes, some madman has gone through the jungle labelling everything. Ah! It's raining. It's not rain. It's a big person with a watering can. This isn't the jungle. This is a garden centre. <laughs> Gaston's brought us to the wrong place. Poor Redbeard is hundreds of miles away in the real jungle. Ugh, and we're stuck in a garden centre. Hello. Hello? Are you nearly here? Uh, we're a bit far from the jungle. Oh, yes. Whereabouts? Right now, we're in a garden centre in a pot of daffodils. Daffodils? Oh, yes! I can see you! What? I'm inside! Look through the doors! Hello! I thought you said you'd gone to the jungle. It is a jungle in here. Come and see. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, well, I suppose we'd better rescue him anyway. Carefully now. We must not be spotted by the big people. Why won't the magic door open? It's not a magic door. You just stand in front of it and it opens. But we're too small for the door to notice us. Time for a bit of magic. Now that's what I call a magic door. Ha-ha! Am I pleased to see you, me hearties? Don't you, me hearty me? Do you realise how much of our time you've wasted? Uh... We thought you were trapped in the jungle, not sitting in a tomato plant in a shop. But this is where the lost city is. Look! Lost city? It's a load of garden ornaments. Come, come, Nanny Plum. You have to use your imagination. It's a lost city of pyramids, waterfalls and treasure. It's a load of plastic rubbish. Well, haven't you had an adventure coming to find me? Yes, it's been fun. And that's what being an elf pirate is all about. Having fun. <laughs> Now, all you have to do is untangle me and we can get away from this dangerous jungle. Oh, this isn't a jungle and there is no danger. Whoa! Hang on! Hold tight! Hello, I'm a customer and I would like to buy this plant. Find everything you're looking for today? Yes, thank you. Do the toys come free with the plant? Uh, oh, I suppose so. One pot plant with toys. And one magic goblin. I am not magic. One talking magic goblin. Oh, no barcodes. I put it through as compost. Oh, thank you. Magic goblin? Compost? How dare she? We've got to get free. Come on, everyone into the airship. That's it. Let's go. Anchors away. Look. Uh, hello, Mrs. Customer. Hello. Don't tell anyone you've been seeing elves and fairies. No. Oh. Up, up yeah. and away. Ha, 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 wise old elf. Looks like I'm rescuing you from the jungle. From the garden centre, you mean? Ah, my sweet sugar plum. I brought you a present from my adventures. A tomato? Is it a tomato? Or is it a mysterious red berry from the darkest depths of the lost city? Use your imagination. It's a tomato. Set sail for the little kingdom. Home we go. Ha <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Baby dragon. <laughs> Go on, Gaston. Fetch. <laughs> Good boy, Gaston! <laughs> Gaston loves his tummy being tickled. <laughs> Gaston is the best pet in the world ever! Okay, girls, playtime is over. Time for your magic lesson. Aww, do we have to? Yes, Strawberry. Now, who can show me some magic? Um, I can make an egg appear. Eggs can be quite tricky, but have a go. Ugh, stinky! Hmm, <laughs> it looks like you've magicked up a dragon's egg. Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my crown. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my wand? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. <gasps> the dragon's egg is hatching. My dad says dragons are dangerous wild animals. And they breathe fire. Oh, I'm scared. Let's run away. <coughs> Aww. Isn't it cute? Hello. <coughs> Aww, it's so sweet. <coughs> Gaston, be nice to the baby dragon. <coughs> Ladybird. What shall we call it? How about Cuddles? No, he should be called Fang. Yeah, Fang. I like Snuggle Bunny. Fire Claw. What about Dave? Dave the Dragon. Yay! Dave, that's your new name. <laughs> Dave has got really big paws. That shows he'll grow much bigger. <coughs> what do you want, Gaston? <laughs> oh, all right. Fetch the stick. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Aren't you clever, Dave? <laughs> he wants his tummy tickled. Oh, how cute! <laughs> Dave's the best pet in the world ever. <laughs> Where's Gaston gone? Oh, I don't know. Oh well, it doesn't matter. We've got Dave. Princess Holly, home time. Oh, I've got to go now. Bye. <laughs> Holly, the dragon's following you. No, Dave. You have to go home now. But where is his home? You magicked him up. I guess he hasn't got one. <laughs> Never mind. He can come home with me. <laughs> dee dee da dum dee dum dee do. Dee dee da dum. Nanny! Nanny! Hello, you two. <laughs> ah! A baby dragon. <laughs> his name's Dave. He's going to live here. I'm sorry, Holly. There's no way the king's going to let you keep a dragon. Oh, look! A baby dragon! Ha <laughs> ha! Isn't he cute? Can we keep him? Of course. Why ever not? On second thoughts, get that dragon out of here! Aww. Dave can live in my house. I'm sure my parents won't mind. Good. That's sorted. Come on, Dave. Ben, are you sure your parents won't mind? They'll be fine. But maybe Dave should stay out of sight at first. All right. Dave, stay. Good boy. Dad, remember you said I could have a pet in my room one day? Yes. Maybe it is time you had a pet of your own. Something small to start with. What about an ant? Or a goldfish? Yes. Or what about a dragon? Dragon alarm! Fire breathing dragon! Dragon alarm! Save the elf tree! Sorry, Ben, we must all help! The elf tree is in danger! Dragons breathe fire! Phew! Looks like everything is under control. Anyway, back to your pet, Ben. What was it you wanted? Uh, it 
it was the dragon. <gasps> you can't have a dragon in your room. He could burn the house down. It's the most dangerous pet you could have in a tree. Apart from woodworm. It's OK, everyone. My son is taking the dragon away. <laughs> Where can Dave live? How about Gaston's house? Yes, it'll be nice for Gaston to have a friend to stay. <laughs> Hi, Gaston. We've got a visitor for you. <laughs> Look, he's drinking Gaston's water. <laughs> He's sleeping in Gaston's bed. He's making himself at home. <coughs> ben, you don't think Gaston minds sharing his home, do you? No. I think he's pleased to have a new friend. <coughs> Look, Dave got bigger. Oh. We'd better get him out of here while we still can. Hush! <coughs> I see the baby dragon is getting bigger. Yes, Nanny. And it's impossible to find anywhere for him to live. Hmm, he needs to go home. But where is his home? Dragonland, of course. Mind you, it's a long, long way away. My dad can fly us there in the elf plane. He'll be happy to take us. What? Take a fire-breathing dragon on an aeroplane? Never! The dragon's back! Sound the alarm! Get that dragon out of here! <sighs> All right, then. Load the dragon. Ready for takeoff. How's the dragon? Not breathing any fire, is it? Dave's not silly, Mr. Elf. He knows not to do it in a plane. Everything OK back there? Uh, yes, Dad. Don't do it again, Dave. <laughs> Nanny Plum, where is Dragonland? Dragonland isn't marked on any maps. It's the only place the dragons can get some peace and quiet nowadays. Here we are, Dragonland. I'll open the back of the plane. <laughs> Get ready to chuck him out. Chuck him out? Dad? He can fly, can't he? Oh, all right, I'll land. But we mustn't stay long. It's so hot here. And everything's burnt. Yes, Dave feels right at home. Marvellous. Uh, let's get going then, shall we? Nanny, how big is a grown-up dragon? Think of the biggest thing that you can think of. And it's bigger than that. Bigger than a horse? Much bigger. Bigger than an elephant? Yeah, you're getting there. Wow. A grown-up dragon is ginormous. Right then, home time. But we haven't said goodbye to Dave. OK, quickly. Goodbye, Dave. This is where you belong. This is your home. <laughs> Don't worry, Gaston. Maybe Dave can come and visit you. <laughs> wow! More dragons! Lovely. Well, maybe we should be thinking about leaving. Can't we stay a bit longer? No. Run! Bye-bye, Dave. <laughs> right. Fast seatbelts and off we go. Oh, looks like we got away with that one. <gasps> nice dragon. Don't breathe fire now. Don't breathe fire. Nice dragon. Whoa! Oh, it's a bit warm in here. Let's open the door and get some fresh air. Gaston wants to play. Here, boy, fetch the stick. Oh, the back door is open. <laughs> Gaston's the best pet in the world ever. 